maybe this is me. You you can agree, disagree, or give your own. Yeah. Maybe go and try and find content creators that vibe with you, mm-hmm. and and maybe have some type of a vision of sorts before you start. Yes. Because you'll find yourself, and this is the danger of online and social media, and especially when you monetize. There are content creators that do a lot of shock value stuff. They get high views. They trend. It messes them up mentally. It might destroy their relationships with their family members. Some of them may end up being depressed, having to be medicated. Some of them are off social media and you don't know it's because Muntu took their lives mm-hmm. or someone may have hurt them because they thought they were being so cool. I mean, we can use Musa Kaula as an example. He's been sued. Mm-hmm. He's been attacked uh, physically. And, and uh, so anyways, because I just wanted to content. say that. Because of the content. Because you're chasing. And I guess like materialism, once you start chasing a high, because you're like, ah, this video didn't do well. You're like, oh, now what's the scoop? Yeah. Very yeah, dangerous. Yeah. So maybe good content from my perspective would be what you envisioned you'd be creating mm-hmm. uh, that is sustainable and that is not going to ruin your moral fabric, whatever yeah. that may be, or the moral fabric of people that you care about. The the part about good content, it's a v- look, I'm very, very passionate about African content, like us getting onto the internet more. And I think the problem with the internet is it gave, I mean, this is, this is not a new conversation, but not so long ago, we could, we could only enjoy content being made by production houses, mm. right? And people that we had, we couldn't even comment. We couldn't even say, good, what did I think of the news today? Yeah. Like what you were wearing today yeah. or the fact that you did a blooper. Like I couldn't even give you that. They feedback. just assumed if we're not watching, it's not good. If exactly. we're watching, keep exactly. going. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So we just heard, ratings. Yeah. what does that mean? We don't know, yeah. right? And then coming to where we are at right now, and I'm getting into the conversation about the responsibility issue. Um, now we're at a place where quite literally anyone with a phone, with a mm-hmm. device, right? I mean, it, 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 I don't want to make the mistake of maybe implying, Guti, we're talking just about YouTube as a platform. Mm-hmm. Uh, people on other platforms, streamers, uh, people who are doing YouTube, con- uh, not YouTube content, TikTok content, mm-hmm. some people even just on Instagram, they're building careers on those mm-hmm. platforms and you can't find them anywhere else, yeah. right? Like, ooh, Pop, uh, it does on her via her, her Instagram is her main platform. Okay. Basically, yeah. So I, I, I love and I celebrate the shift that has happened, right? Uguti, it, it feels like what Bitcoin was trying to do with yeah. money. That's what YouTube- De- decentralizing, decentralizing content creation, creativity, expression. Exactly. Yeah. And I love that. And I especially love that for, for, for Africa as a whole. 